All right, I'm gonna do some more Animal Crossing for a bit, just to get started. I wanna continue what I was doing yesterday, so. I have things that I've ordered, and I have to order some more stuff. So, I'll place that stuff down, and I guess I'll have to start cleaning up. More than likely. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. <laughs> There's a lot of flowers everywhere. But I guess I knew this was going to happen eventually. Alright. Oh. Yeah, you're here. Okay. Let's see if I've had any luck. All it takes is for this to duplicate once. Hasn't happened yet. Hey, Strawberry Condos. Just jumped in while getting ready for college. Alright. No worries. Yeah, I just wrapped up work and had some dinner. Okay, let me go here. I think I might have to just keep duplicating these reds. Because that's how I got the blue rose, but I thought, oh, maybe I can just duplicate it easy. So, what I should do after this is just separate one of these out. Because I'm sure cloning red is not going to be a problem. Might have to. Hang on. It's a time of day where like light is kind of glaring on the screen. All right, I just close the blinds. That's better. I like this place gets more natural light than when I used to live before, but right now, like, it makes it hard to see. Uh, okay, I don't think I have this. <laughs> I mean, if I want to go full old man. I think I've seen that one either. Alright, sure. As long as it looks visually different. I forgot about the giant vine as an item. I don't know if I want to do anything with it. What is this? A la oh, it's a lamp. Okay. Uh. 
uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe this. I've got a lot to place here. What I'm gonna do. Oh, I forgot to sell the roses. <laughs> Whoops. Love this cow skull hat. Yeah, I think it's neat. I think it'd make a good decoration somewhere. I need to sell these so then I don't confuse them with the good ones. Get rid of that. Okay. Oh, I should probably sell that recipe as well. Yeah, I've got that plenty of times. Probably gonna need a bunch of shovels. Oh, damn it. They're just sitting down. I can't go around. Alright. Oh, right. Throw it out, throw it out. This one is authentic, so I gotta go donate it. This should be good. going to also lift one of these up and clone them, just so there's more chances of getting more blue roses. I would have thought by now it would have cloned itself, but it hasn't, so I'm going to resort to growing more. I'm just going to put it here, and then with any luck, be able to get more. Because I know this is the good kind of red. Oh, I've already done these. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to go completely down. Yeah, okay, that's as far as it goes, so... Like that. And then I'll put another one here.
if the game lets me. Why does it do this? And then inwards. All right, good. Hey, Rob, how's it going? Hold on, let me think about this. I guess I, uh, okay. I need to think how I'm gonna get all of them in there. Good, how am I? I'm doing all right, just wrapped up work, had some dinner. Yeah, just kicking back now. Kinda looking forward to the end of the week, just been busy. Festival lamp, get rid of that. I think I need the cube lights. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That can go back in. Alright. Of the pad, the pad. What? What do you mean, pad? that one. Alright, cool. It's more or less set up. I just need to buy more of these, and then it'll all go together. The stone path, uh, I don't know any of the codes off by heart, but if you look on Pinterest for stone path, it'll, it'll pop up, like it's probably one of the more popular ones. Just do a Google search, it should pop up. That's where I got most of them from, but yeah, I, I don't know them off by heart, nor did I write them down somewhere. Okay, I have to go customize these. I'll donate the painting first. Yeah, I'm happy with this. this, this is good. And yeah, this is just drawing inspiration from a place here in Melbourne that has something similar. But I'm not done. I gotta put soup out. I haven't been to the place in ages, but it's pretty neat. You get to eat burgers on the roof of a building, and then you're kind of sitting in an old train carriage. <laughs> Go. This should be correct. Alright, cool. That's another one, finally. It's been a while since I've donated anything authentic here. This is the furthest I've gotten with the art museum. Yeah, I kind of wish when you downloaded codes, the game would still keep the code. So then, if someone asked, you could share it, but... 
don't know, Nintendo and online games. <laughs> They're getting, they're getting better. I just remember the original DS, how every game, if you wanted to play with someone, it had its unique friend code. So you'd have to be like, add me to Mario Kart. Add me to Animal Crossing. You couldn't have one thing. We'll go to work first. I'm just here for the recipe. And hopefully the doghouse that I've been waiting for. Still have your DS and 3DS. Uh, my original DS, I gave it to my younger brother when I moved out. But my 3DS I still have. And I've got a modded 3DS as well that has capture in it. So I can stream the old DS games. Such a good console. It's the buy. I mean, I'll buy this. Uh, I mean, I'll have to exchange money. Even if I don't use it, it's still. Oh, good. This is a good day to exchange. There we go. I mean, I got a lot of time out of the, the DS. The 3DS, when I picked it up, um, it was towards the end of it. Well, not end of life, but the Switch was just around the corner. I didn't know the Switch was around the corner, and then the Switch came out. But I did get a bunch of the games, so, like, I have the key games. And I picked some up secondhand before they started going up in price, so... Though, recently I've been messing- because I got a Vita as well. I've been messing around with that and... Man, that, that thing was ahead of its time. But you know, you can... If you do homebrew on it, you can install a bunch of features that it didn't have. One of them being, you can get it to, uh... Like, act as a client so you can play Steam games on it. Which is kind of neat. Like, the Steam Deck hasn't released here, but... It's like remote play. Pretty good. Okay. So this one's authentic, but I'm pretty certain I've bought it. But I'll buy it anyway, so then the art refreshes. If it's authentic and I already donated it, that's a good way to put the statue in front of uh, the tea house, so then it's like asymmetrical. It's the same statue, but one doesn't have a shovel. The only thing I wish I could have played with the 3DS was just New Leaf at the time it was popular. I'd always, I'd always heard about this series, but I guess 
I don't know why I never got into it. I never tried it. It's not that I tried it and didn't get into it, it's I just didn't get it. That's the money one. Yeah, I mean, I've played it now, and it's great, but I think it would have been better to play it when a lot of people were still playing it and the online functionality is uh, still going. They're shutting that down soon, so... There won't be any online functionality left. Yeah, oh, you can Ooh, that's so good. This is why I wanted these, because I got ramen menus on them. This is going to look good. this. Get a different one, why not? Okay, uh, hopefully I have enough. One, two, three, four. I think it's only four seats that I got. I might, for consistency, just make the other ones ramen as well. So it's all just—it's all just ramen. Just for consistency. Because at the moment, I think I got sushi and stuff on the other one. I'm just gonna make it all ramen. I think it makes sense. I love how characters like Tortimer are still used in the games. Yeah. It's nice that they keep... keep them going. I just kind of wish that they had bigger roles. Well, in this one, anyway. Oh, you got fleas on you. I was trying to talk. <laughs> Interact and use net same button. Didn't mean to do that.
we have I've said this so many times, we have so many buttons on controllers and they make one button do 12 different things. I'm hoping I can place gyroids here, but I don't think I can. Okay, and... That comes the fun part. I think I need to temporarily get rid of this. This is purely for show and nothing else. Oh, that one looks so good. I want that. See where I have made an error. There we go. That's all the ramen types. At least that I'm aware of. I think I need to temporarily move this. Um, I'm gonna experiment and see if you can actually. Place a gyro on a floor seat. Let's see. I don't think you can. I think I may need to swap them out. Get a bunch of random ones out. Hopefully it works. Yeah, you can't place it. Okay. New plan. Okay, so I mean, I have stools, but I don't know. Could use these. Yeah, maybe I should use these, the boxy stools. I have to go back to halves. I kind of need one more. 
Oh, but no, I can use these. This will work. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be back and forth quite a bit. I was debating on using the cube lights, but I think if I put too many of them, it'll just feel overused. Hopefully this is available in blue. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Okay. Cube light supremacy. It is a good item. <laughs> Cube light and simple panels are like my two favorite items in this game. You can do so much with them. But I don't want that to be like my default. So I'll refrain. Um, boxy stool. There's no. Uh, that that blue is not the right blue. It's too light. Okay, I'm gonna change them. I'll see how it looks, but... I suppose if I was doing it with cube light, it wouldn't be the right blue either. This is more of a teal. Or cyan, not teal. I could do something neutral. This might work better, actually. Now that I see it, it's like, yeah, it'll go with what's there. If the blue was darker, it'd be fine. This this will look good. I'm gonna try not to come here too often, but Constant back and forth might force me to. Gotta leave now. Alright, no worries. 
Enjoy the rest of your day. Probably be on for a while today. We'll see how it goes. Depends who's around. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's fine. Turn you that way. I'm just picking random gyroids. Oh, oops. Thing. To make it hard, don't they? It's just a massive puzzle. Oh, well, I need to get rid of this anyway, so. There we go. Okay, and now. Um, we want cushion. the other question. face the right way. in, which you can. Mm. Maybe it's a little overkill. It's a little low to kill. I think this is fine. And then just add the bamboo partition back. sign. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. But is it the right one? I 
think it is. Uh, no, hang on. I might get rid of it, but let's just see. Mr. Sam, how's it going? I think this is all good for now. I just need to order more of these barricades. Okay. I got your wipe. I guess you finished chapter one or you're done reading your first chapter. It's called Safety Barricade, I think. Safety Barrier. Five of these. Oh, I need money. I got worried for a sec. And they'll go along here. Alright. Food trucks are looking good. How are you feeling after being done with the first chapter? Any better? What did I say? I just said... Oh, congrats on being done, I think. Pretty sure that's what I said. And then, yeah, just if, uh... You're feeling any different. The rest of it was just me, like, thinking to myself of what I'm doing here. There's no embarrassment in chapter one. Safety barrier, or is it? It's the one. Yeah, I mean, that stuff takes forever, but I think eventually you do get better at it. You learn to do your takes a bit better. Okay, so that fencing will come here, and then that'll, that'll be it for this. I might put, like, a single flower here or something. Maybe. It's kind of out of view here, so... I need to do the daily stuff before I think of doing anything else. Ow, you're here. I'll deal with you in a minute. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll go work on the theater. Probably gonna be moving 
a large quantity of flowers, so be warned, this might get highly repetitive and boring, but it's in the name of uh, working on the next houses. I just need a I just need a clean up, that's all. And figure out which flowers I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of. Which yeah. Hello, Varna Beans. How's it going? Where's the gold rose? It's over here. It's hard to move it in... In the interest of progression. I mean, you said you weren't up to the embarrassing part yet, so... <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to the island just to get, um, the daily recipe. Because I really want... the... golden armor, so then that's one step closer to making the big robot. Because I want to put the big robot at the arcade. My island looks sick. Thanks. Yeah, it's taken a while to get to this point. I spent four months trying to get all the hybrids. It was annoying, but I'm pretty much there. So, I'm just going around giving every villager their own house and theme sort of thing. Redoing their houses, just everything. But I'm still trying to duplicate my blue roses. That's all I got left to do. Old man glasses are making me laugh. But yeah, today I just gotta finish working this design. I liked it in outdoor theater, so I gotta finish that up. And then I'm gonna clean up all the big mess I have. Still looking for the rope ladder recipe. I don't, think, I don't know if I have that one either. I have iron ladder, not rope. Blue roses took forever. Yeah. You're telling me. It's insane how long they took. The crazy thing is on the first island I did back in 2020 when I had my old Switch. I got them. I didn't, I didn't know how I got them. I just got them one day and I was like, oh, cool. Blue ones. And now when I genuinely wanted to make them, they, it took an eternity. Like, four months, practically. Oh, there it is. Vine hanging chair? I don't think I've got on this one. What is this? Oh. That's kind of cool. Huh. I might use that. I might put that outside. I you spent ages looking for and cheating, what, like, to get the rope ladder? <laughs> collect the vines and leave. I think everything else I don't really need. Alright, we're good. Uh, 
The only thing I'm looking for is the recipe for the gold armor. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to get everything myself, so so far it's been working out. I've gotten pretty much everything I want. The only exception, of course, being the fruit, because there's no way for me to acquire that. You only get a, a sister fruit. But everything else I've got on myself. sent your fruit as well. Yeah, unfortunately the one she sent me was this one of the ones I already had. That was unfortunate. You're practicing chapter two and the angst is killing you. What, like, is it the start of embarrassment? Let's see how these chairs look. Don't know how you do 600 pages. You'll get there. Just a watched pot never boils. Some other words of wisdom that tell you to uh, not pay too attention, too much attention to how much time something is going to potentially take. Alright, this is what I'm going to be working on later. Maybe make cleaning this up a bit. I don't know if I need the two ice slushing machines. I'll figure it out. All right. Anyway. Oh, I should probably check if they're crafting. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like Scoot's place. I gave him a gym. I mean, let me see how these look here. Hmm, I could pro I could probably go with this. Did I get the recipe from the Happy Home Paradise restaurant? I think I did. I think it's the coconut pancakes. All I have to do is just customize this to be brown instead, and hey, fine. Which means I'm probably going to have to go back. Oh, oops. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I need to bring this with me and this. Not sure if I want to block this. Wait, there's no room. Oh, because of the cliff vine, right? I made it so then it's usable in other things. Okay. You saw more gold red roses. Gold roses, yeah. So I, I grew them to fit the design. I legit only have one that I'm not using. The others are part of a design. And even still that one, I'm like debating whether I even want to use it. That's why I've been, I've been trying to clone it so then I have more of them, but it just hasn't been happening. Maybe I need to water it with a gold can. It's weird because some of them I got without watering them with a gold watering can, so I'm not sure how that happened. I promised you that one. I did, provided you do the thing that you're working on. So it's still up in the air. Brown? Oh, the brown isn't the same color, is it? I might have to cut. I'll, I'll see. I might have to customize it. It's rare, but sometimes you get them when it rains. Maybe that's how it happened. Because I got them from black roses that I was kind of just. They were just out in the field, and then the next day I was like, wait, what? Why, why is there gold here? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Alright, let me see if it matches. Hopefully it does. I can't believe he's wearing the pirate outfit now. I gave him that like five months ago. Okay, it does match. I thought it wasn't going to, but it's fine. And the pet bed on the side. There is room, stop lying. <laughs> it was there before. Okay, I have to do I have to do it this way. Stop. What is going on? There we go.
you like that section of the island, this section. The boat and whatnot. Because I didn't really have any house that had n nature involved, so I, I tried. But also I didn't want everything to just use standard fencing as dividers, so... Yeah. This is the peacock's house. I haven't done this festival, I think, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I don't mind this house. Okay, let me go back to what I was doing. I thought about it and the sign I'm not 100% sold on. I think I'm gonna do this instead. Same with the cotton candy. Burden Festival is annoying. Oh, really? What do they do? I thought about this more, and I think the way I'm gonna play it is... Go for Symmetry. But kind of center aligned Symmetry, so I'll get another shelf here that's got candy. And then that, it's a case of like less is more. Popcorn can be here. Get the other shelf that I have and customize it, and that should be it. Is it as bad as the Easter event? The Easter event was the one that I disliked the most. <laughs> it's just eggs everywhere. Ah, oh, that's coming up as well, isn't it? Ugh. Just remind myself that that's coming up. I suppose I haven't done it in this file, but still. Once you get everything you need from it, the egg's just appearing constantly. Okay, uh, store shelf. Where are they? I know I have one more. Yep. There it is. First of all, you have to catch feathers. Okay. I might bring these out and see. It's not as bad as the Easter event. Okay. I think finding eggs isn't the problem, it's just eventually... I think the problem was because when 
that event was going on, it was very early on when the game was out, so... I still wanted wood, I still wanted fish, I still wanted other things, and it was just annoying to get eggs. There were, there were so many times where I was trying to- I was just trying to get wood, and then I'd get like three eggs from a tree. <laughs> just... Ugh. I do like that the rabbit, um, doesn't like Easter, though. Well, okay, so that's my interpretation of it. The rabbit isn't cheery all the time. It doesn't hop. It's just someone in a suit trying to do their job. <laughs> Darkwood and this one. We need the festival I souls. I mean, they're selling them in the shops now. I don't know. Just keep checking daily. I think I got mine maybe three days ago. I can't remember. <laughs> I should probably make more of an effort to get some of the villagers' photos, because I want to put more of them up inside my house. Don't have the stall yet. I thought they sold them... Maybe it's random, but I got mine. It was just in the, s the shop a few days ago, so... And so was this. I don't even know why, why I put this here, but it, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it fits. It is random? Okay. Yeah, then just hope you get it. Yeah, I only have two villager photos as well. I mean, here are the, the photos from Happy Home. Have I seen Colorin? Uh, Colorin doesn't hop on until a couple of hours from now. Because she's in New York, and right now over there it'd be like 5 in the morning. Or 4 in the morning. I can't remember. This time of year is, is kind of horrible, just because it's very late at night for the Americans, or it's super early for the Europeans. But then, in a couple months time, it'll be a bit better. Most people will be here around 8pm. Yeah, which photos do I have? I have Audis. Yeah. Okay, so I just have two. And I put this one up here. It's 3am? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, we have plenty of night owls here. What one here? Do I want to grab anything? I guess... Nah. I mean, I think this is the only room that still needs work. It's just putting photos up. But I guess I should probably gift them. I know there's an item you can gift them so then they don't put it in their house or wear it. I'll have to look into it. I 
I don't think I want to do anything else up here. Like, I think this, this room is done. All I was waiting on was the synth. It's 9 a.m., yeah. Always a mix of time zones here. You have Pango and Sherb's photo. Pango, I think I have a photo, but that's because it's Happy Home. I'm just reminding myself, like, if I have anything left to do. Oh, hold on. I just noticed something. <laughs> ah. That light is off. I must have walked up to him and tried to move something. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. There we go. Fixed. Get that up. Yeah, it's just villager photos and then I'm done with my house. I'm gonna try and clean up. I can't remember if it's Daisy's house or... But there's a house that just has a bunch of flowers in front of it right now, so I'm gonna clean that up after this. But first... Yeah, that's better. Wait. That's not... Why? In what universe was I trying to place it there? There we go. Ah, this'll do. I might buy a couple of yoga mats just to place here. Um, I guess I need to go to Happy Home to go buy them because I've already bought my five items for the day. Yeah, this is a theater that replaced the two restaurants that I turned into food trucks, so... I think this works. That's... Functional. And it fits with everything else that's kind of going on here. There's, like, an arcade... A... Bar, venue, whatever you want to call it. And a tea house. I like this. This one turned out pretty good. Alright. Uh, let me think. I guess I should sell this stuff first. And I'll go order the mats before I forget. It might only be 8pm, but like, my brain tight. <laughs> It might have, like, a little bit of an early shutdown. Not that I'm sleepy, but more just... I'll forget sh stuff. Forgot to sell this. Okay. So, prepare yourselves. This is now gonna <laughs> be me moving and selling flowers for like, I don't know. I might prioritize the ones that are in the garden there. Or I, I could postpone it again and work on the campsite area. 
sell you the gold. I don't want to sell you one. I don't need to. I don't need money. The problem is I have to go out of my way a lot to do it. It interrupts the stream a lot. It would have to be something like after stream. Because I have tried to figure this out and I can't figure it out. But my Switch has like a a 50-50 chance to even connect to someone. Probably less. But if it doesn't connect to the person right away, then what I have to do is take it out of the dock and then hook it up to my phone and connect that way. Because it just doesn't, it just straight up doesn't work. It just straight up does not work. It's only the switch. Everything else I have, the, uh, the PlayStation, the PC, no issues whatsoever. This, for some reason, I, I could not figure it out. I've tried and tried, but it, it just does this. It's just Nintendo's online service. It's flaky as, at best. Going to sleep. All right. No worries, Ivana Beans. Well, thanks for popping in. Have a good uh, rest of your night, and yeah, thanks for the follow as well. It's it's the Nintendo service. I've I've read into it, and a lot of people face the same problem. And some people can fix it, and other people just straight up can't. <laughs> Yeah. I used to get it with Mario Maker and it was it was horrible. I couldn't play Mario Maker online. But then Mario Kart was fine. F099 also fine. So uh, I, yeah, I could not figure it out. Okay, uh, hello. I'm going to order a yoga mat. The only other way you can do it is, like, if you open your island. But for me to open mine, like, it's too much of a wild card and it, it'll give me a headache. <laughs> I don't want it to be like a stream where I'm trying to troubleshoot a connection. That's not good to watch. There we go. Wait, but I can't pick the color? Alright. Oh, shit. Right, but we have to add each other as friends, and I don't think I've updated... Have I updated my command with my new... Friend code. Oh no, but it'd be the same. Relax. <laughs> Sorry. I keep thinking we're like back in the days of old Nintendo. I might get a few of them. Where every game had its own friend code. That was horrific. But yeah, the only way I can plant the roses is if you do the, like, best friend thing. By the way, you can't see anything. What do you what do you mean?
Oh yeah, I need a ticket. I wanted to put a ticket on the counter though. So one place is selling tickets and the other one is uh, not. Oh, but like I put the friend code thing in chat. Well, the bot should have. Don't I? I swear I had a Taylor's ticket. I swear I kept one for cos- oh there, I'm blind. That was a good minute of black screen, really? Uh, huh, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I, I, don't, I haven't done anything. Let me look at OBS for a sec. I mean, OBS seems fine. Go to where I landed, like a minute before landing. Okay, I'll look at it later. Maybe something went weird with the capture. It doesn't say it dropped frames or anything, so I don't know. Sometimes videos do that as well. Um, like I was watching Twitch on TV. And it did that. The screen goes black, but you can still hear audio. And then it kind of fixes itself. Or if you change the quality of the stream, it fixes itself. I've gotten that before. So I'm hoping on the VOD it doesn't do that, but I'll, I'll double check. All right, cool. This looks fine to me. With the two mats, put a yoga mat here, yoga mat here. It'll look good. I'm debating whether or not I should just continue this flooring all the way. I guess if I'm looking at this, it is a bit weird there's like a, a strip here. <laughs> it's like, well, what is the point of this? Realistically, the brick road should continue, and then this should be... <sighs> Alright. I've changed this a couple times, but I'm just looking at it. I think it'll look better if the wood continues all the way. Okay, so move this... this. Wonder if it was just you. It's possible. I mean, thanks for letting me know, though. Like, I try to make sure I'm on top of that stuff, but the Twitch player does do strange things sometimes. Oops. 
they always come to see me do what I'm doing. I'll just continue it. Oh, I can't. Okay, hang on. You're in the way, Melba. Move. <laughs> I don't want to shove, but like. I, I need you to be over here just for a minute. There we go. I gotta clear it first. This looks better already. Okay. Uh, here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, can I not? Is it because... Ah, oh, this is here. That's why. It doesn't let me. There we go. I'm gonna have to temporarily remove these. As long as it doesn't happen again. back. Cool. Yeah, there we go. I think that's fine. Which, now, I'm thinking of doing something else. Okay, hold on. Just gonna look at what I have. Okay, I do have dividers. Hmm. I mean, I think, let me just see how this looks. I'll get, what, like, this many out? That should be enough. I just want to see how this looks. Because it is, it is a theater. The only thing I don't like about these is that it doesn't, 
it doesn't form like a correct angle. But, I mean, it's not like it offers too much. This would be just for the sake of consistency and realism. I'd have to change the color. Oh no, yeah, you could see it. Okay, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. The only thing is on this uh, on this side I'd have to alter things a little. Not too much, but I would have to alter things. It's pretty much just this I'd have to change. So how many did I use? I used four. And I have three, so I need one more. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. If I want to solve the look of the theater, I should do it. to halves. One more time. going to take a minute. Quiet to all of them. Oh man. Okay. It'll only take a minute or two. It would have been cool if all these caravans could set up a physical store if you wanted to in your your island. I guess. It would remove the point of halves again, but I don't know. <laughs> Going to quit with the book. I don't know what else to say, just... That hasn't been said. Just get through it. You just tried reading it to your sister. Yeah. But I guess that's the thing is like, if you read it to people you know, there's always going to be a comedic lens to it. 
I don't think they can listen to that objectively without without laughing. It's not what you should be basing it off. She didn't laugh, you did. Oh, well... What was, what was the reaction then? Just... Okay, there we go. Took long enough. <laughs> he has details about the main character. But that's just being funny, or I guess genuinely is interested, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's go place these walls. Hopefully it'll make the whole thing look good. Like all smart readers, she's interested. <laughs> so? Just gotta stay out of your own head. Just get through it. Go watch Kindergarten Cop a bunch of times and get Arnie. Arnie's voice to stick in your mind. Stop whining! <laughs> Just do it. I haven't seen that movie in a while. I kind of want to watch it. sold on this now. I wasn't initially. I think it needs to be out by one. Oh, but see, it's gonna call uh, it's gonna cause that awkwardness, isn't it? I'm gonna have to retool this area because this is gonna affect how it walk, how you walk. Love that movie. Wish you taught kindy. It looks easy. What are you kidding? Younger kids can be monstrous. You could end up in a scenario with like. The principle I used to have, but you know, I'm sure she liked the idea of children, but she could not handle younger kids. I mean, realistically, this panel oh, it should be one more panel. I'm gonna seal this off properly. because this looked nice, but I guess I'm gonna have to settle for functional path that isn't 
causing too much friction. to go corner now. Alright. I need to go get two more panels. have to go get the panels. Two more. I thought I was done, but now I have two hedges to place somewhere. Ow. Okay, yeah, that makes it easy. very Bondi. I haven't been to Bondi. I don't know, is, is it one of those things that it's just, if you're Australian, it's, it's kind of overrated? I haven't been there, so I can't really judge. I'm missing out. Yeah, but like... Here's the thing. Out of all the states I've visited, I, I don't know, I just did not like New South Wales. <laughs> just... Well, okay, specifically Sydney. It's more of a Sydney thing. The few times I've been there, just every single time, I've either come up against someone being a Darrow, or like someone being really rude when I'm when I'm trying to like f find out information dude even even Brisbane was nicer in that regard like I, I know it's like you know grain of salt those were my experiences but that's all I got to go off oh what the hell is that I don't know. I must have just missed. You live in Malabar, the rest of Sydney are. Okay, I'm not going to say the word because YouTube hates it, but know that I know what you mean. But see, even you say that. That's, that's what I'm saying, is like... I'm not wrong in my judgement. It's just... I have friends in New South Wales, nothing against the people, it's just 
the general the general populace. You know what I mean? It's like as a whole, not on an individual level. Like I'm sure there's places I could go to where it, you don't get that at all, but the experiences I had, man. Also, I'm sorry, but the road the roads are just what what were, what were they thinking? What were they thinking with how they laid that city out? <laughs> like utter insanity. Melbourne's a perfectly uniform grid over there. If you need to do anything that involves the bridge, best of luck to you. Melbourne is boring. Eh, to each their own. I think it's it's a nice place to live. How can you say it's boring? Sydney had its nightlife shut down for like a decade. <laughs> a lot of places moved down here. They didn't know what to do. Well, that's that's like uh. I'm not going to say a you problem, but it's partially a you problem. There's things to do. It just depends what your interests are. Not that one. Ugh, picked the wrong option. Like, for starters, there's a lot of food. The food places here are great. And then it depends what time of year you came. Sometimes I have pretty good events going on. Like, noodle night markets and stuff. Oh, those are great. Your interests when you were 20 were vastly different to you at 20 34. Well, but that might be why you found it boring. Okay. Final two. figure out what to do with this round light now. There's probably more I can do to this. What's a nice place to eat in Melbourne? Oh, I mean... District-wise, the Italian district, um, Ligon Street, that has a lot of good choices in terms of just pizza places, pasta, that sort of thing. Um, Chinatown restaurants, there's like one called Dainty Sichuan, which is like spicy Chinese food. That stuff is great. I mean, it depends what you're after. Like if... Name a kind of food and I can probably recommend something. There's plenty of barbecue places. Or like, if you want to do... Breakfast places. Or cafes, breweries, um, stuff like bagels. If you really want to check out that croissant place, there's that world famous croissant place where you have to line up at like five in the morning. There are some other French places as well that do decent ones, but not like as good as those. 
don't drink. You don't have to drink to go to a brewery. Those breweries, they, um... They serve really good food. There's one called Stomping Ground that... They brew beer there, but then the food there is really good as well. They do good food, and it's a nice venue. It's like one of those places that, yeah, it's a brewery, but then they have food as well. Look it up, you'll see. It's, it's in the city. The place that this is based off, there's a apartment building where on the top of the apartment building they put train car- uh, two, like I think two or three train carriages on the roof of the building, right? And then there's a burger place downstairs on the base- like the base level of the building. You buy your burgers, then you go up to the roof of the building and you sit in these train carriages and overlook the city. And the burgers there are really great smash burgers. And their gimmick is whatever you can buy at a train station, you can put inside the burger. So like potato cakes, dim sims, you can just load it to the broom if you want. Or you can just get a really good basic burger. And then yeah, you sit in a train carriage and you overlook the city. So I base this place loosely off that. See? Melbourne's a great place. It's not because I live here, it's genuinely I've been to... I think the only place I haven't been to is Adelaide. But like, my friend from Adelaide said, I flew over Adelaide, that was enough. There's really good bagel places. I mean, you're into chicken, fried chicken places. Of course, I know I know where to go for that stuff. And yeah, there's like some suburbs where there's a lot of cafes and there's graffiti and street art. And, you know, there's the there's Hipster Central, <laughs> which has good cafes and stuff. I call it Hipster Central, but it's just a suburb. Oh, there's two lights here. Oh, that's not good. Most look like a home, rarely buy food, don't know why. I mean, that's a good thing. You're saving money. In the long run. But that being said, it's nice to get out and go eat with someone. Just as a social thing. Oh, ramen. Ramen. Man. The ramen places we have here are so damn good. Particularly the one I've been going to lately. Quite good. These are good Japanese restaurants. I don't know what to do with this round street light. There's a place in Kyoto called Engine Ramen. I'll have to keep that in mind. Sell yourself to have another ball. Uh, yeah, ramen's great. Can I place a I don't think I can place a light though. I think because that's in the way. I think I tried it before, it doesn't work. Maybe. Let's just keep it simple and do this. Yeah. And then the fencing can go that way. 
One, two, three, four, five. It'll fit. Yeah, that'll work. Because I ordered five. Um, what else? German places. Like, there's a German pub. But again, you don't have to drink to go to a German pub. The food they do there is excellent. Like, oh man, the platter they do that has pork knuckles, sausages, and just a whole bunch of good sides. Can't go wrong with that. I think I'd make, like, an excellent guide to someone visiting. Or at least if your interests are, like, food-oriented. <laughs> Have I passionately prayed for something? That's the deliciousness of that ramen. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. chicken places that man Ugh. fried chicken okay so let me begin I think I should buy a shovel or two it reminds of a story it's unhinged I mean you can write it or I'm I might not necessarily read it out loud but I'll read it. It depends how unhinged. As long as it's not like, hey, TOS unhinged. You don't need fried chicken because you have a bird? That doesn't make sense. So do you eat chicken at all? TOS is Terms of Service. Basically things streamers can and can't do. You actually don't like chicken, get out. Wow. Can't, well, aside from vegetarians or vegans, I can't say I've met many people that say that. Me, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't think I could exist without chicken and chicken related foods. It's just so versatile, there's so many different ways to have it. That's why I, I'm shocked that you wouldn't have one chicken dish that you would like. You'll eat it once a year. Oh man, nah. <laughs> Not me. Fuck. As a joke, I, I kept track, I kept tally of how much chicken I ate in a year. I don't remember the number, but it was like, in a year, it was at least a hundred chickens that I was responsible for, whether directly or indirectly. I mean, the number adds up when you take wings into account. Like, wings really do it. If you ever go to a place and just have a bunch of wings, that, that does it. Well, I'm, I don't eat whole chickens. The way I did it, I quantified it, right? So, like, let's say I, ha I went out to a place and it was, like, a quarter piece of chicken and something, right? So then the tally goes a quarter piece of chicken. And then when I have four quarters, that's a whole chicken. 
Or like if I had chicken nuggets, when I get like w roughly 1.2 kilos, that's like a whole chicken, I think. Or I forgot the measurement I had, I forgot, but it's like a standardized measurement. So sometimes it was by weight, sometimes it was by the fact that it was a piece of whole chicken and it was easy to quantify it. With wings, it was by weight. And when everything was said and done, it was, that's how, that's how much, like, loosely. Directly and indirectly. Because I also had a section that was about, like, if we're hanging out, for example, and it's time to eat, and you want to get pizza, and then I say, nah, let's get chicken. And then you go, okay, let's get chicken, then, well... I'm partly responsible for that chicken. But yes, the equivalent of like over a hundred bull chickens in terms of weight in a year. Granted that was in my 20s, so maybe it wouldn't be that high nowadays because I ate, I could eat a lot more in my 20s. Just metabolism amazing back then. But for me, it's like chicken bring is one of those foods that bring me happiness. I don't think I could be in a situation where like someone would want to prevent me from having chicken. It's fine where like maybe they don't enjoy chicken as much. That's fine. But if it's straight up a like, hey, I don't like chicken, so we shouldn't have chicken. And by extension, I'm not getting as much chicken as I usually get. That might be a problem. <laughs> Just, I don't think I'd be able to survive. I'm so easy to please, honestly. Like, I could become rich, but I would still resort to just going and getting a bucket of wings or something, and I'd be perfectly content with that. I wouldn't go to like a fancy restaurant and get something along those lines. Nah. Never count the nutrients like a psychopath. Count the nutrients from what? I mean, I, can, I think I can realistically get rid of a bunch of oranges. Orange tulips. I don't think I'm going to use them. We'll use some. Oh. Protein, fiber, minerals. Oh, so you'd like do all the calorie counting and that sort of stuff. It's good to think about that stuff. It is. But life is just so much simpler. When you don't. Okay, well, at least there's that. I'm gonna put some here. Yeah, 
F. If there's one thing to know about me, is just that. <laughs> Chicken. That's one of the ways I'm happy. Interesting way to do a property line. Just so I'm not resorting to this fencing. You underweight, so you worry about getting more nutrients. Okay. But I mean, I guess, like, having chicken, say, once a month instead of once a year wouldn't change much of that, wouldn't it? Um, an advocate for eating more chicken. How many is that? It's like, what, two? I'm gonna be like, yeah, uh... Yup. No. Yup. You don't like the taste. But see, the taste of chicken depends on how it's prepared, right? Because flavor tends to come from how it's marinated, how it's cooked, the form factor. I don't think I can plant a tree there. Um, prefer beef. It's fair. I'm gonna make an implied fence here. Like the, the trees act as the fence line. can definitely prefer, prefer beef. Just, I guess the thing that's still strange to me is just not l liking it when there's so many different ways it could be prepared. Like, there's got to be some combination where a chicken meal would be done in a way that you're like, okay, that's, yeah, I like this. be done but you won't seek it in a restaurant oh no yeah i mean look in a restaurant situation when you go out to eat right you get what you like the most i won't fault you for not picking chicken when you go out to a restaurant like the idea of that is getting the thing you enjoy the most but general like i guess in general i don't know I guess I should plant another peach tree. I don't think I can plant this here. I think it won't let me. I know it does. Oh, okay. Cool. So it does work. I mean, these are just purely decorative.
Oh, there is a page tree here, actually. Okay, I can use that. You bought chicken that was when you moved. Okay. It's been seven years. Man. Man. But don't any other people you live with like chicken? I suppose it's, that's, that's where the once a year thing comes in, huh? Like someone else has made it and you have it. No, really. Man. Oh, I bought the wrong thing. Just such a hard, hard thing for me to imagine outside of people being vegetarians or vegans or pescatarians. But I know pescatarians that have eaten chicken. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm so interested in this. I shouldn't be. Do I have... I guess I need another coconut to move it. Brother likes chicken, no one else does, huh? Every time you see him making it, you feel sick. But raw, okay, but that's raw chicken preparation, which is like a different thing. But once it's cooked and it's, I mean, I could, I could list all the different ways you can cook it, and it's great. Even just, just, just wings, man. When they're in a particular marinade or something, just all the different marinades you could use on it. Honestly, there's photos of me as a toddler, and I have, like, a piece of chicken in my hand. It's just, it's been part of my life. The longest I can remember. And then some. Okay, so that's the property line. Alright, now... Hey, what's good? Strange. Alright, so the way I'm gonna do implied, I call it implied fencing. You also hate eggplant? Okay, I can get on board with that. I don't- I hate eggplant. I've tried it several times, it makes me ill. Like, the, it, there's a reaction with it that makes me sick. And I've had it once, not knowing I had it. So, it was completely blind and exact same thing. So, no. I, I don't like it. It's both a texture thing, a taste thing, but even if someone was to make eggplant that didn't, you know, that would pass those two things, it straight up makes me ill. Like, yeah. I can't eat it. So I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do with the house itself, but at the very least, Okay. 
Now I need to plant more of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this, but we'll see. Don't like broad beans, long green ones. Oh. I don't mind them. culture has the best and worst dishes. <laughs> I mean, most of the food I grew up eating, beans, rice oriented, or like corn adjacent things. How can you hate rice? That, that's got to be a preparation thing. Not even risotto. Fried rice, Asian style. Rice in a burrito. Boring. I, dis I wholeheartedly disagree. Unless you're having a plain... Nazi Garang style. You're partial to risotto, so you don't hate rice then. You might dislike certain preparations of it, but if you like risotto then... Tolerate rice. Never had Nazi Garang. It's very flavorful rice, or like... There's a truffle duck mushroom rice that I, I get when I go to a particular Malaysian restaurant. It's good stuff. I think you just need your horizons expanded when it comes to food. Seem quite the connoisseur. Well, yeah. I grew up in a pretty multicultural suburb. Pretty much just immigrants everywhere. But then also, just generally speaking in life, I like to try different things. Because I think food is one of the easiest ways to, to relate to someone. It's just, it's such an easy way to talk. It's like, oh, you know, I enjoy this particular food from your culture or whatever. And then, you know, it's easy to get along. Very easy to make conversation. And it's one of those things that just when you share a meal with someone, it's a pretty good way to get to know them. Tell me what I like about Italian Finnish. I haven't had Finnish food. Because when it comes to Scandinavian countries. The uh, I've had one friend from Denmark, and then in primary school there was someone from Norway, but they were more Aussie than Norwegian. They didn't really do anything traditional. So I haven't had a chance to try. I mean, Italian food, I'll, I'll tell you what, like, Italian sandwiches, when you just do the very simple... Cheese, rocket, 
prosciutto and like some sort of tomato that's been marinated. Man, that shit's good. But I mean, um, what else? Gnocchi, brazil, which is like that stuffed beef. That shit's good. Yeah, panino. Um, cacio pepe, like I love that when it's done properly. And then, I mean, you know, not to be too cliche, but I, I, I like the San Pellegrino drinks, particularly the ones that are like fruit flavored. I don't have hedge. I really don't have hedges. I have to make them. Alright. Sorry, I was caught up. There's probably others that I, I'm, like, forgetting about. Yeah, Blood Orange Salon Pellegrino is great. No, that's one of my favorites as well. Um, but I mean, I, lo I like risotto. And just simple pizzas, the ones where it's just like two, three ingredients tops. But they just do them so well. Just wood fire pizza with leopard spots. I had a, what was this, like potato. Potato, artichoke, feta, and what the other thing that was on it. But it was it was pretty damn good. I don't know, what kind of food is Finland known for? Like, tell me something that I should try. And I'll keep it in the back of my mind. Wait, don't I? Ugh, am I blind? What? What am I missing? I got weeds. I got weeds. I got stone. I got... What have I forgotten? We don't... It's probably clay. I bet it's clay and not iron. That's probably where I messed up. Arancini? Oh, I like arancini. They're good. Finish meatballs? Okay. How do they... How do they differ to, say, Swedish ones? Because I know, like, the meatball, it depends on how it's done. Italian meatballs are different. Oh my god, Italian meatballs. Just... Yeah. Serve that with just bread. The bread, the sauce, the meat, I'm done. Like, that's all I need. All the bear. Never tried Swedish. Okay. I'm curious if it's similar, because it's like, similar region. What meat do they usually use? Because usually it's like, it's the meat, the mix, and just what goes with it as well, how it's served. The Am I losing my mind? Beef and reindeer, okay. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had, well, I guess because we're in Australia, but you know. Reindeer. Or deer. Something that has antlers. I think I must be really tired. 
I'm not seeing the hedge recipe. Someone's probably internally screaming because I've passed it like several times. Yeah, there it is. Tree branch! Oh, that's what I'm missing. Ah, I forgot about the tree branches. I may as well pick these up. It had to be something minor. Pies as well. But would they be like of the fruit variety or meat variety? recipe I'm looking for. Oh, right. That needs to be that. I want to keep like an open plan. Get her, please. open now. The sips and stews don't know if I'm into 20 letter name for single dishes. I mean, what's in a name? As long as it tastes good. Salted cured fish is not something I would go for personally because I just have bad memories of what the Easter tradition was um, growing up. For Easter, they did like a salted cured fish, and it was—it's like done in. So they get it, and then it's like done in like a stewed wrap. I forget—I forget what it's called. But it's like an egg. It's like an egg batter sort of thing that they wrap the fish in, and then it's stewed in this tomato broth. So like the salty, the saltiness of the fish goes through the egg. And it's supposed to flavor it, and then you got like the stewed tomatoes that go with it. I did not like it. Not my thing. But it was a thing with Easter, and so it's like permanently tinged, painted, whatever you want to call it. My perception of like salty fish di dishes. I can eat anchovies on like a pizza, but on their own? Nah. Egg, tomato, and fish. What an odd combo. It's not just egg, it's... This is one of these things that I know... I know the Spanish word for. And I'd be able to describe it, how it's made. But... It's, uh, yeah. It's hard. Thank you. 
I want to see, like, what the recipes consist of, so hang on. Even the recipes are just in Spanish. So it has, so the salsa's like tomato, onion, and half of a green chili, guys, capsicum. So yeah, they batter it in the egg. All it is, all it is is just an egg that's been whisked. And then they, they just fry them. I could have sworn there was like something else that went to like the egg batter, but I might be wrong. It's not really random, like, I understand the, the logic behind it, believe it or not. But it's, it's just an, it's an Easter thing here, That's, well not here. Easter thing growing up for me here. That's what I was meant to say. No, I never liked it. Why not just eat it cured? Because I guess it's just a thing. As a result of that, my interest in cured fish just isn't high. It's just like, I could, I could eat it. I could eat, probably eat it. Would it be something that's enjoyable, or would it? Would I eat it over some other food that's available during Easter? Absolutely not. That's one of those things that, uh, you know, historically it probably had its time. There's a reason that these dishes exist, right? But it's something that, I guess, I don't live in those times, and so it's not something I have to eat, you know? Especially if it's something that I find average or not enjoyable. So, yeah. Granted, there are some things that are just like. Every culture sort of has a form of gruel. And there was like a one that was made out of pineapple. That's actually pretty good. I do like that. <laughs> but it's one of those things that came from like a period where, you know, food was scarce and all that. Caponata? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to eat that. That's just highly eggplant based. No thank you. I wouldn't be able to get through it. Give them a garden. I just need to figure out. Well, a th what am I even doing here, a theme wise? Your grandmother's from St. Peter's, where she knows all about food scarcity. Right. But it's the kind of thing where it's. You wouldn't eat those foods, really. I mean, you could learn to like them, sure, but when there's so many other things that you eat, would that be like a first choice for you? She makes nice food. Okay. I mean, I, I like my beans and rice. That was like a very simple staple. Like a rice, a rice soup that just had some beans in it. That's very, very simple. I 
I can probably get rid of some of these orange ones. I just want to clean this up. It's all... But then there's other things that involve, like, offal. And that's the sort of stuff that it's like, eh, I could, I could eat it, but I don't... It's not something that I go, oh, this is amazing, I have to have it. It's kind of like, yeah, it, it can be fine. You have a confession, she would make battered chicken breast that is thin and crispy. Ha ha! You do like chicken. See, it's it's prep. I think all it is is just preparation. Like, I think you just don't have good chicken. Or someone that makes good chicken. It's all in the preparation. You could, you could make it, just learn. So I'm sure there's nothing too secret to it. But there's chicken out there in the world. There are restaurants that do stuff that nice. The chicken that I talk about, that I'm like salivating over just thinking about it, it's like that. Just those feelings you're having right now of thinking about that chicken, that's me. That's my default. <laughs> And it makes me happy. Okay. I'm going to make a garden. The grandma passed away when you're 15, so you'll never find that recipe. That sucks. But, I mean, if not the same, you could find something that is similar. I'm just saying there's chicken out there that is as good as that. And it's all down to the preparation. I don't think it even had a name. It probably didn't. <laughs> it's just something she made. Like that's in all likelihood that's probably what it is. I think you just need to try again and just try it again. Get more chicken. Expand your horizons. have a look around. I mean, okay, this was blue, purple, green. I'm using a lot of blues. It might be worth doing... Uh, this one's like this. Okay. Imagine teriyaki sauce out of a solid batter. I can imagine that. Like, I've had my share of chicken that has amazing batters or, like, crispy coatings. I didn't shut myself off the chicken. I'm just teasing. Have you had Korean fried chicken at all? Do you think memory makes the flavor better? Oh, absolutely. Because it's a thing that's a mix of, like, nostalgia, but also food is the way that some people express love. So there's definitely, like, memories of that mixed in with that. It 
tasted normal. Probably they don't have good Korean fried chicken then. The chicken that I had recently, like you could taste, it was like a beer battered chicken. It was so good. And then just the sauces that go along with it. Amazing. Yeah, love language, exactly. stick with let me see which flower I don't really have many of it's kind of hard to judge which flower type I should use I think at the very least high synth because I don't really use them much so I'll probably take a bunch of these I don't think I did. I didn't. Okay, so we'll use these. Alright, those are, those are my choice of flowers. Whoops. The chicken that they do at the German place, that chicken is really flavorful. It's thin and crispy, like you're describing, it's a schnitzel thing, but it has like a lemon flavor to it that's really good. And it's just in the coating. But then when you serve it with all the sides and stuff, man, it's great. Stuck talking about food again. Like, I'm stun locked on talking about food. Lower. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Yeah, I do. So old with those glasses. Just like I 
I'm envisioning. It's not going to be easy. Backups. So here will be a little sit-down area. I just need to clear the rest of the stuff out. And if I'm marking... I need to draw this paths out now. Just ignore the fact that it's the same. Oh, I need it on Earth this because I messed up. I've been using too many purples and blues, so I'm trying to be different, even though I do like those colors more. Why did it turn around? <laughs> Ugh, this analog stick. I used to think this Pro Controller was like one of the best controllers ever. It is in terms of how it feels, but just functionally, man, it's not great. there. Oh, these are on half. Okay. If that's the case, push them in. Okay. This 
is nice, but sticking to the colors that I picked. I'm gonna go get that pile of leaves item. How much time have I sp I've already almost spent three hours on this. Okay. I mean, not on this individual thing, but collectively. As long as something can't grow there. Fine. Yeah, it needs to be just a little bit further in. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Probably gonna alter this. Again, the curved road is nice, but I think I need to make this make sense. So, uh, okay. I need more yellow pansies. I don't really have any. This is going to do some adjusting as well. If I could prevent it from growing in the sand, I would put a flower here. Alright, I'm gonna plant some here, just to get rid of them. Probably safely get rid of some of these. Just a lot of guy for saving all of this. Landscaping. 
after eating a slice of bread for dinner. <laughs> after all that. I mean, we had a conversation for half an hour about food, and the thing that you decided to eat was just a slice of bread. It's back refresh. Oh, I'm sure it's great. Just, just that. And nothing else. plant. I might do some condensing around here. Okay. I like the property line that I've done. Instead of using the literal fences. Alright, I'm gonna adjust this. It's gonna be a bit more boring, but it's just better. Do at least have the bread with something, like cheese or just straight up bread? It's a very 1700s dinner. <laughs> For a day of being a chimney sweep, you get one, one slice of bread. to the edge, right? Yeah, that's kind of why I didn't like it, but okay. Oh, even... Ugh. Okay. It's alright, think of the space that I'm gaining. better. There we go. 
Ah, alright. We'll do. That doesn't look so weird. And then place this back. And then this comes forward. There we go. Well, I guess I can afford to go one back. It was Baker about to start starvation. You didn't have like cheese or like some form of meat to go with it or what else? Just anything. today. Just feta or feta or something else? I worry when you say that, you just you mean just like had two cubes of feta or something. I've had a, just with olive oil and bread. Okay, well that's good. That's sizable. Very Mediterranean. Funny thing is, I had chicken rice. <laughs> of all the things we're talking about, I had chicken and rice. A good chicken and rice. Boring. I'm sorry it's not up to the standards of your two slices of bread. My apologies if it's not exciting as that. one slice. Oh, again. I offer my sincerest apologies for thinking you had something as boring as two slices when you had something as exciting as a single slice. I'll, I'll take my chicken and just crawl into a corner and sob and eat it. <laughs> uh... Oh, 
All right, I think this is all I want. It's like a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. All the seeds from the bread were creating a symphony of flavors. simple panel but where is it I have one I know I had one for the outdoor pool. I had one. I made sure to buy one. Again, I'm probably blind. There's the bathtub. Whirlpool bath. There it is. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it's struggling a little bit. Uh, what color is this? White bastel? Oh, it's that. Yeah, I know what that is. Okay, so that's... Should be like that, give or take. I'll work on it. See, I don't have the joining thing, do I? There's like one piece missing that'll let me do... Yeah, okay. No, 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 I know what I need to do. I think the funny, the funny thing about this is it's gonna end up being like what I had before. Loosely. thing that I used to have before I tore down and made the uh, the diner.
shit, it's already 10. <laughs> I didn't realize how late it was. Not that it matters for me, it's more just a, like a, a thing where I had something else that I was going to play tonight. I don't want it to get shafted. There is room, stop. Yeah, I guess it has to be that, huh? Alright, so that's that. go with the implied fencing again, so... Just need to put a tree here. I'll just buy one. <laughs> I think I've planted a total of three trees, so... Let's make it four. Where are they? This one. Because anytime I needed a tree, I think I just got it from an island. I just lifted it up. Or it was the money tree. Open. Uh, ordinances. You can apply the night owl ordinance so then shops are open an hour more than usual. I'm 
trying to be random. That's just cleaning up. There we go. Good enough. I don't think I need to continue now. <laughs> I think I got a good start. I need to think about this more. Like, what am I even going to do here? I think this is fine. I'll do some seating and stuff here. This is more what I do along here. I'll give it some thought. I've hit my creativity limit for the day. Okay, that's not what I was gonna do. some spells. Wait, that's all I had. Apparently so. I guess I have potatoes. So what, just two pumpkins, that's it? That's all I have left? Oh, it's just one. No, two, it's two. Okay. Clean up, but not entirely. I think a good idea would be to just have a set 
flower theme that goes around the whole island. That might be what I'm going to do ultimately. So like the colours around the island don't vary, it's just villages will have the special colour flowers. Which, okay, I'm going to preempt that. Because I definitely want more of these. At least these are easy, they just replicate. So there's not a problem here. some more green ones, but... I think just the little flowers that crop up everywhere. I'll keep them all the same colour, and then there'll be parks and stuff that have, like, the variety. Like, here I'll keep the same colours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the simmer. But for now I'm gonna water these and I think be done with it. The important thing is I got the theatre done and then the food trucks, it's just the fencing missing, and then it's done. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'll think about the general situation with the flowers a bit more. Because now it's just getting those two houses decorated, and then the rest is just, well, figure out what the rest of the island's going to look like. Which should be easy, I don't know. All right, well, that's it for Animal Crossing. Uh, if you were checking this out later as a replay, thanks for also tuning in and sticking around to the end. If you do want to support any other content over on YouTube, by the way, the easiest way to do so is just do one of the things that YouTubers tell you to do. <laughs> like, click the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. It does help out a lot. So thank you to those that do do that. Um, you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up. So, also helps a lot. But we'll do more of this soon and... Well, we're getting towards the end of this, I think. Um, it's just a matter of going around and polishing the island up after the next two houses are done. Alright. That'll be it for Animal Crossing. See you next time.